Guys, we just saw peacocks. Did anybody know that there are peacocks in Dominica? That is wild. And Gabriel's, Gabriel's belly is driving us home. <laughs> Good morning. It is Monday morning. Today I'm actually going out onto the field and I thought I'd do a little day in the life of a GIS research associate or geospatial scientist, which is what I am when I am not on YouTube. So I'm going to take you guys with me today on a little field trip. So we just got to Kulibi Street and this is one of the areas that we'll be looking at for today. It's definitely an interesting area as we are already seen. There's still so many homes um, of people from since the hurricane that are still damaged, you know, not recovered. So that's interesting to probably find out the stories. Very, very steep slopes like right along the river that no one could build on. It's way too steep. So everyone is kind of forced to live right by the river in these areas. Mm -hmm. But while we see the river looking this small, right now, it can become a major disaster zone when it floods. Raging torrents.
to take a little walk. Maps and stuff, then I'm just going to sketch some initial observations. Today is more or less like an observation day versus a day when I will be doing like serious field work with um, GPS stuff and drones and all of that. So let's go. Guys, we just saw peacocks. Did anybody know that there are peacocks in Dominica? That is wild. They ran away though, so I can't get them on camera, but... The day after Maria? Yeah. And then, um... That's scary. Hey guys, so... Um, we just completed an interview. We stopped and spoke to one of the elders in the community and had like really really long conversations just basically had her tell her story about all that happened during Hurricane Maria and after and Hurricane David and all of that so that before the project that I work on for work it is as in my day job is um, related to like Hurricane Maria and the recoveries and resilient so we just stopped by this house because one of the stories was and what she was telling us was about like all the sand and everything that like came into people's houses Look at the level of sand that's left in there like that's crazy that's at least like what three feet it's like three feet of sand right there in the veranda and the entire inside that is crazy And we're in 2021, so definitely they just probably couldn't fix it or deemed or relocated. I'm not sure. Look how the fan is bent. You can see like probably remnants from wind and water damage. But what I find interesting is that our, it just seems like the ceiling and everything is still intact. So that's a For the size of the door, I'm wondering whether that was, uh, whether it was a residential or whether it was, uh, um... You can see where the valley basically narrows right here. The lower end of the village is definitely more exposed to the wind and all the wind damage as well as flooding from the sea. Yeah. She was talking about Okay, guys, this is so, this is my co-worker slash boss, Adam. So Adam is, well he has Dominican roots but he is from the UK and we were here interviewing somebody and Adam songs like more like a raw Dominican than me like he was out here talking about <laughs> where do y'all make garden and I'm like I don't even sound like that dude like what are you, what? I guess I have to synthesize and bring together the different versions of myself and sometimes when you speak with the old people and you speak in a certain kind of English accent and you have to repeat yourself 10, 15 times? Very true. Well, I'm from you Tong. You try something new. So, <laughs> a Tong girl always going to sound like a Tong girl. They know it. They know it. We're on our way back to the city. I'm driving down, as you can see. That I also found interesting. I've got myself off camera just so we can take in the, the view as we're moving along. Well, you could have just flipped the camera. And Gabrielle's, Gabrielle's belly is driving us home because <laughs> she's hungry. No, no. <laughs> so I'm we're good. eating up road. Things. I had bakes, okay? <laughs> I had bakes, guys. We all know I'm a very safe driver. <laughs> That's very true. That's very, very true. 
I feel entirely comfortable. Yeah. Such a smooth drive, I could fall asleep, but I'll stay awake for the sake of the <laughs> Guys, so this is also the day in life. Um, it's Monday, and I'm currently in KFC's drive thru because yesterday was really crazy, and I was never able to cook lunch, so I didn't have lunch today. So I'm just getting something. Um, and yeah, today I'm gonna work late though because I need to sort out some software um, on my laptop, some GIS stuff, and I'm gonna have someone come and help me. So I'm headed back to go do that in a few, but um, just without like being super personal and having all my private business on the internet. But um, yesterday, pretty much, I was super busy because I was back and forth at the hospital. My grandmother. Um, She's not doing too well, which is also the reason why I didn't post a vlog um, yesterday, Sunday, which is my usual vlog days. So it is not that I'm purposely slacking or anything like that. It's just that life is happening. <laughs> life is definitely happening. But anyway, I hope you guys have been enjoying this day in the life of a GIS Research Associates and just let me know if you want to see more videos like this because definitely the field of work that I that I work in like it can always it can get very interesting especially when we go out and onto the field and stuff like that so I'm sure there will be other days that are pretty interesting so let me know all right anyway guys I'm hungry AF so I am just waiting to get my food also I ordered a zinger combo no meal like to me that's the best thing to order in Dominica's KFC. So, what do you what do you guys like to order? Guys, so I am back home. It's late. It's night. I'm still in my work shirt and stuff. I'm going to shower and actually cook lunch for tomorrow. Well, I seasoned everything, so I'm just gonna pop everything in the oven because I don't want to have to do what I did today, which is go scrambling all over Rosso and everywhere was either closed or I was too late for lunch and then have to end up eating KFC. I won't typically say that um, I finish work this late every day, no. Sometimes it's just a part of the GIS life that literally sometimes you, this, we are very much heavily, we very much heavily rely, rely on a lot of GIS software and stuff. And sometimes the software just decides that it ain't going to work right or it's going to crash or you're going to have to do something over and over and over again. And the next thing you know, like hours go by and you're still fixing and tweaking different things on maps and whatever. So that is really the day in the life. But I do hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog. I'm going to end it here. And this was a day in the life. Again, comment down below if you guys want to see more of these. And I will catch you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and I will see you next time.